Hello everyone. This is the sixth video in my tutorial series on Unity Editor Scripting. In past few videos, I talked about how to create custom inspectors for your classes. We saw how to create this multi-line string input. We also learned how to create uh, a more visual representation of health. We saw how to create spaces in your inspector, create a slider for your int or float fields. We also saw how to create a fold out, give indentation and other important thing was how to create a horizontal layout system to make compact uh, input fields. But one problem with this approach of making custom inspectors is that the method that we have been using till now is accessing the class variables using the dot notation. This approach fails if our custom inspector is used for prefabs. It also fails if we want to do multi object editing in the Unity editor. So to solve those problems, the next approach that we have to write custom inspectors is using serialized objects and serialized properties. So in this video, I will show you the better or the new method of uh, writing custom inspectors using serialized objects. However, you have to remember that if you are using the new approach of writing custom inspectors, you won't have all the customization options, the formatting options that uh, I have been telling you till now. So when you are using the new approach, you will lose a lot of control over how your variables are shown in the inspector. So if you don't have to worry about uh, using prefabs, if you are sure that you're going to use an object only once, you can freely use the old method, which is more customizable. You can make uh, your inspectors more designer friendly. So let's create a custom inspector for our player class using the second approach. Before that, we will have to delink the old custom inspector for player class for that we only have to comment out this line that which defines that this script is a custom inspector for our player class now what we'll see is that the player script is drawn using the uh, default unity inspector and to make a custom inspector using serialization all the steps all the five steps that I told you to make uh, the normal custom inspector applies for the new custom inspector. So what we do is inside the editor folder, create a new script. Let's name it player inspector two. And inside the script, inside player inspector two, uh, you will have to include unity editor. And let this script derive from editor and Similar to our old custom inspector, we will specify that this script is a custom inspector of our player. Now, similar to what we did in our old, old inspector, we'll have to make two functions on enable, which is used for things like initialization. And we will make a override function of on inspector GUI. On inspector GUI, as you remember, is uh, handles all the drawing of the variables. It has all the GUI calls inside it. So similarly, we will get a reference to the class that we are making a custom inspector of, in this case, the player. So we will define a player variable and get its reference. So everything Till now is exactly the same uh, like we used to do in our old custom inspector things start to differ from here so if you remember to access variables in the old custom inspector what we would do is player dot and the variable that we want to use but we can't use this approach when we are writing custom inspector using uh, serialization serialized objects so for every vari variable that you want to use, you will have to define a serialized property. So for example, if you want to show player name, 
and to get a reference to player name what we do is first define a serialized property so for every variable in your class you will have to make a serialized property so you can think of it as every variable in your class is a serialized property so let's make a serialized property with a name player name and to get a reference to that serialized property from your class from our player class what we write is player name is equal to serialized object dot find property here serialized object is the is the class that you are writing a custom inspector of so this serialized object will be the serialized version of your player class the same way uh, the same way the target variable refers to our player class the serialized object is the serialized version of the same class and and to get a reference to the variables we use the function find property and in find property as an argument we have to specify the exact name of the variable that we want to refer so in our case uh, the name of our variable was exactly the same so it was player name now this player name which is of type serialized property represents the variable uh, player name inside our player class in order to understand how this works how serialized object or how serialized property works you will have to understand a little bit of uh, what serialization is but it's a quite vast topic it itself so I will have to make another video about serialization and why it is used in unity a uh, simple reason that I can give you is that most of the critical code the background code of unity is written in C++ so the code engine runs on C++ and since all your scripts are written in C sharp so the code talks to your C sharp side, the managed side of the game application using serialization. So the C plus plus side has to uh, know about all those all the variable values. So serialization is used to transfer values between these two cores of Unity. Since we now have a reference to our variable in the class we'll start writing our custom inspector the first thing that you do is write these two functions one at the start of your on inspector GUI and one at your end these two functions are serialized object dot update and at the end you will write serialized object dot apply modify properties you can think of it as the first function will fetch all the current variables inside your class so it will fetch what was the player name right before the inspector was drawn and after you have done some customization after you have changed the value of the player like if you uh, wrote a new name in the string field what this the last function does is that it applies those changes inside your class so these two functions are very important you will always have to write them in the correct order the update function at the start and the apply modified properties at the end when we were not using serialized property or serialized objects we had a, a host of functions of how to we can draw our variables we had editor GUI layout dot label so we can even show our floats just as variables we were not dependent on the type of the field that we were drawing in our custom inspector but when you are using a serialized property our only option is to use editor GUI layout dot property field what property field does is is it automatically finds what is the type of your variable and it will draw a field which suits that variable so if your serialized property your variable player name was a float it will make the default uh, unity float field with a, a blank space and a label if it was a color it will automatically draw the default unity color input field 
but one thing that we can still use from our old approach is the automatic layout system so if we want to write two or three variables in a vertical stack sort of fashion we can still use the arita gui layout dot begin vertical and in the same way we can use the uh, horizontal layout system so we can write begin vertical and end vertical now to draw the property field the simplest method is to just write your serialized property as input inside your rater gui layout dot property field it will automatically find the type draw a suitable inspector for that type so if you were to run this if you were to check this inspector right now yeah so it is showing you the player name as an automatic unity default uh, unity default inspector now you must be wondering if uh, we can only show the default types of input fields then why are we making a custom inspector for it this is because we still have a little bit of freedom about how we can modify uh, our variables how it is shown in the inspector for example let's take the health system uh, the health variable of the player which we made a very nice progress bar sort of thing in our last approach let's try to modify the health variable of player so let's uh, let's make a variable let's make a serialized property for our player health in the same way we got uh, player name variable we will get player health using serialized object dot find property you will uh, you will have to take care that this name should exactly match what your variable is named inside the class so in my player class health is written as health so i will write health now i have the player health i will make a property field for my health property field player health right. so this is how player health will look uh, in the default unity inspector fashion now i want to uh, give it some customization like uh, how we may give it a color based on health value so try to let's try to do that here in the serialization method so in order to change the color we need to have the actual health value so here you can see we don't have player health as a float or an int so we can't write an if statement comparing the health to a cutoff value so to get the actual float or an int or any type of values stored inside your serialized property what we can do is uh, we can write inside our comparison function the if here player health and dot you can get any value that is stored inside your uh, serialized property but you will have to know beforehand what type of data you want to use it won't give you automatically a variable of your type so in this case player health is a float we know it's a float so we'll write as float value right so this will give us a float value representing the actual health of the player now we can compare this float uh, value to some cutoffs like if player health is less than 20 we can change the color just like we did in the last approach if the player health is less than 20 we'll make GUI color to red and if player health is greater than 80 we'll make color to green and after we are done we will reset the color back to its original this thing we talked about in the in my last video please recap it why we have to reset the color after we are we are done drawing any GUI element so let's make it white as a, the default GUI color and now let's look at our inspector so when player health is 2 we get a red color if health is 20 it's the default white when health is 90 it's a green color so this was a basic customization which is possible when we are using the serialization approach 
to writing custom inspector i know it's not very flexible i know it's not highly customizable but it is the only way you can write custom inspectors if you are using to write it for prefabs and if you want to do things like if i had two players and i want to edit both of them as once this is called uh, multi object editing how we can do that is by simply giving our custom inspector a simple attribute called can edit multiple objects so uh, so now if we have two player game objects with our custom inspector we can just select both of them and edit it at the same time so we can let's make it 18 so both of them are now 18 this is similar to how you are used to selecting multiple objects and setting their transforms so now our custom inspector can work uh, to edit multiple objects and also for prefabs